To complete a purchase, a customer has to go through a checkout form. Checkout forms can be on their own page or they can be on the same page as the product section. In order to function correctly, a checkout form has to know which product is being sold. So if you have a product that has more than one variant, make sure you have a variant selector on the same page as the checkout form or on the page that precedes the checkout form in order to allow the customer to select the variant that they want to buy. Typically, you will use a checkout form that's already built for you in your theme. But if you want to modify that checkout form or if you want to create your own checkout form from scratch, let's talk about the required elements for a checkout form to function correctly. Let's take this checkout form for example. You will see that we have a contact information section, a shipping information, a payment method section, an order summary. Now, not all these elements are required. All that's required here is that you have at least an email address field or a phone number field and then a payment method section and a process checkout button. Everything else is optional. So if you want to modify a checkout form to fit your needs, feel free to modify everything as long as you keep those elements. Each input field you add to the checkout form should have the checkout form option selected under the form setting. Then on the type, you can choose one of the available options or select custom to add your custom field. Once the order is processed, you will find your custom field value on your order details page inside of your admin panel. Now when adding elements to your checkout forms, you can use the elements located on the sidebar under elements, form and checkout categories. And that's an overview of how checkout forms work.